us is Edward Lowe. You are a last year graduate student at the University of Kentucky and you are presenting. Tell me about the presentation you're doing. Yes, absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, so I'm working on these sand, uh, sand grains from the world's largest wetland. This is in South America, the heart of South America. And we've collected 97 points across a watershed that's like 600,000 square kilometers. And my basic questions are to figure out what are the compositions of these sediments and what controls those, uh, those compositions throughout that watershed. And you're going to be sharing some of your findings during your presentation, but I know that you were able to receive a GSA research grant. How important was that to you in your research process? It was a lifeline. I, none of this research would have been possible without that GSA grant. That's what enabled me to produce all of those grain-mounted thin sections um, at Wagner Petrographic um, and essentially allow me to do all the optical microscopy work that I've done um, in the years since the pandemic. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a multi-year research program, the pro process that you did. It wasn't just done in a year, was it? No. No, this is a multi-campaign, and we, we had a 2019 field excursion, and then I had colleagues do this for me during in the middle of the pandemic in 2020 and 21. So, Learning to work with the earth and learning to work with other people as you're looking forward to your next steps in your career. I think it's really interesting that after you finish your research project, then you went and did congressional visits. Tell me about those. Yeah, this is a, a really big uh, goal of mine. I've, I've wanted to be able to liaise with different different groups, especially with the, the funders and, and the people who are controlling our legislative budgets. And so it was a really unique opportunity to do this through GSA. I'm really grateful for this, uh, to do it less this last month and, and meet with Kentucky senators and their offices to advocate for um, NSF funding. I think it's incredible that you as a student hopefully helping other people with those visits, potentially helping other students and opening up the door for other students to get funding too. Yes, absolutely. I see myself as a member of this vibrant community that we are here at the annual meeting and um, I'm just trying to do my part. You are very much a go-getter and I know you are already working on your next project. What's the, what's the research you're doing now? So uh, I've just started a, a seed project that, that's been funded uh, through the, the University of Kentucky where I'm presently based at, working in uh, rural Knox County in Kentucky. I'm trying to understand, use the same tools that I've uh, worked on and been trained on in my dissertation work, looking at the sediments in the watershed there to understand the impact of household wastes over the last several decades and, and how we can advocate for environmental justice moving forward in that part of our country. Well, best of luck finishing up your last year at, at University of Kentucky and getting into the workforce up for hire. I'll put that out for you. Thanks <laughs> Thank for joining you. us.